It has happened again. There was another smash and grab ATM theft. The whole thing caught on camera at an Exxon station in Howard County. Tonight, as the owner cleans up the mess left behind, police are searching for whoever did this before they strike again. Welcome to WJZ News at 11, and of course, to all of those of you who are streaming tonight, I'm Vic Carter. And I'm Rick Ritter. We have seen this over and over again. Really, it's just the latest in a string of ATM thefts and attempted thefts since October. The crime is now spanning three counties and Baltimore City, but it's still unclear whether or not this is all connected. WJZ is live. Annie Rose Ramos spoke to police and the gas station owner about what happened. Annie Rose. Rick and Vic, check this out. This, this is a temporary wall. The owner put this in today after the ATM thieves left a gaping hole right in the front of this store. Now the thieves were in and out in just about a minute, taking with them the ATM machine that had about eight thousand dollars of cash inside it. Now the owner tells me he feels like this always happens to the hardest working people, like himself and his family. Another smash and grab ATM robbery, all caught on camera, happening around 3 o'clock Wednesday morning at this Exxon gas station in Elkridge. A white van backs into the glass of the Exxon. Two suspects get out, take the ATM, put it in the van, and they're out of there. I think you're always disappointed to see crime seep. Um, into different areas where it may not have been before. The gas station owners sharing these photos with WJZ's, showing their store before and just after the robbery. They start cleaning up the mess. Police recovered the van used in this robbery in Baltimore City and determined it was stolen, making it harder for police to find the suspect. It does make it difficult because you're you're going after different threads. Using stolen cars and abandoning them is nothing new for these ATM bandits. It's obvious from the surveillance video that this is not the first rodeo for these people. They don't leave tracks behind. They cover their faces, wear gloves. WJZ covering this uptick in ATM smash and grabs and attempted thefts since the beginning, starting in October in Baltimore City, then in Baltimore, Anne Arundel, and Howard County. But it's a reminder that crime has no boundaries. The owner at this Exxon, Aperva Patel, says he's grateful his employees weren't hurt. This can be replaced. Life is not replaceable. He's now replacing his ATM, putting it in the back of his store this time, but he still fears these thieves could return. That's always a concern, but what are you going to do? You got to do a business, right? It's part of the business. Take it one day at a time, whatever happens, happens. And Rick, Howard County Police tell me they are working with Baltimore City and Baltimore County Police Department so they can catch these group of robbers so this doesn't happen again. Live at 11, I'm Annie Rose Ramos for WJZ.